Having said that, let us look at some more applications of probability in the marketing domain. Now, in the uh, case study two, uh, we will look at the various stages of marketing. Uh, whenever we do a marketing campaign management, there are various stages. So, for example, there would be planning, there would be execution. You'll have to monitor the campaign. You'll have to track the results, and at times you have to optimize your campaign. So, we'll look at all these different stages and apply different concepts of probability in these stages. So for this for this uh, use case, uh, I've taken the example of AdventureWorks Bicycle, which is a leading manufacturer of the bicycles, and uh, they're coming up with an upgrade offer, basically essentially an exchange offer. Bring in your old bicycle and we'll uh, uh, help you with a new bicycle at a reduced price. Now the marketing manager she has a lot of questions. Where should I run this campaign? Who should be my target customers? What should what products should I promote? Uh, will the campaign be successful? Do I need to make any kind of optimizations? And we as data analysts can help them answer these questions using the concepts of probability. First of all, let let us look at the sample data that we have at hand. The data that we have at hand is uh, we uh, this this is a snapshot of the data. We have the sales order. So what are the orders that happened? in which month the order was uh, was uh, taken the customer id of the order the gender of the person who bought the uh, particular product what was the product that was bought whether it was an online buy or an offline buy how many order quantities were bought what was the price and what was the total price uh, what was the unit price and what was the total price of the uh, purchase so using this data we'll look at each of these uh, questions that the marketing manager has the first question deciding the channels for the campaign when I say channel, I'm referring to whether the uh, campaign should be conducted in store like a physical advertisement or whether it should be a digital ad advertisement. So deciding between an offline campaign versus online campaign is the first question that the marketing manager has. And to help with that uh, answer and to help answer them, we can figure out the probability of getting a bicycle on a bicycle order online versus getting the probability of bicycle order offline. Wherever there is a more probability, it would make sense to do the campaign there. So uh, let us look at the different elements of the data that we have. <clears throat> the experiment that we are conducting here is if there is a high chance of getting online orders because the ma marketing manager wants to know can she or should she conduct an online a campaign as well. The outcome is either an online order or an offline order. The event that we are focusing upon is online. The total number of times the experiment was conducted is 838, which is basically I have counted the total number of orders that I have in my sample database. So I have 838 orders uh, from the past history. <clears throat> the number of times E event happened, which is the number of times the orders were placed online. From the historical data that I have, I see there have been 396 times when the order was placed online. With a simple formula of probability, probability of E event happening, which is probability of online orders against the total number of orders is 396 divided by 838, which is 0 0.47, approximately 50% if I round off the number. Probably, uh, the number of offline orders is 442. Probability of not of E, which is the complement of E, is 1 minus the probability of E, which is 442 divided by 838 which is 52%. We can just cross check that we have applied uh, the correct, uh, uh, the, our probabilities have come out to be correct. Probability of E is between zero and one, which is the usual case with probability. The uh, probability never exceeds one or never is never less than zero. And the complement rule is also true here. What do we, interpret, uh, what do we infer from this? The probability of receiving an online order is 48%, whereas the probability of receiving an offline order is 52%. This means there's a pretty good chance of getting online uh, orders in both the channels, which means we can use online channel as well as offline channel for our campaign. Though the probability of getting online order is less than getting uh, in-store order, it is still significant, substantial, pretty much 50% order. Hence, online campaigns must also be run. Let's move on to the second part of the question. She wants, uh, she, uh, the question is deciding the target uh, customers. So we have decided that we are going to send email campaign to our existing customer. The marketing team wants to evaluate the probability of campaign reaching female buyers and all the online buyers. 
as the offer is specifically beneficial for female buyers. We, uh, all, uh, I mean, this company has a lot of male buyers buying the product and they wanted to encourage female buyers uh, as well to buy their product. So the campaign uh, that the messaging that they want is uh, uh, needs to be specifically focused to the female audience. Let's see how we can solve this problem. Even number one that we have here is online buyers. Even number two that we have is female buyers. They can be online as well as offline. The third event that we have, which is an intersection of both the events, is female online buyers. The, with the additive rule that we know, probability of E1 or E2, that is online buyers or female buyers, which is our focus area, would be probability of E1 plus probability of even 2 minus the probability of 3. The numbers that we have from the database are, we know the number of online buyers is 392, female buyers is 453, the intersection of female and online buyers is 281, and the total number of buyers in this segment is 564. Putting in the numbers, we get the probability of E1, which is online buyers, is about 0.69, 70%. Probability of E2, that is probability of female buyers making a purchase, is 0.8%, approximately 80%. And probability of female and online, a combination, a joint uh, event occurring is 0.49, which is approximately 50%. So the conclusion is the probability of reaching the female buyers is very high. It is 80%, as well as probability of reaching the online buyers is about 70%. Showing the outreach of our uh, uh, campaign is pretty high and we are good to conduct a campaign on the online and the female cohort that we have decided.